Okay. I got mine right here. My my stuff is right here. Sweet. Very nice. Awesome, Very nice. awesome stuff. Johnny <clears throat> Bean TV mug. Thank you again to Bruce who, who sent this. Very cool. Very cool. And <clears throat> nice and uh, call it. right off the bat, I'm blurry. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take long. No, no. Okay, here we go. Wow, 20 people. Hey, it's 5.09 p.m. Pacific, 8.09 Eastern Time. Welcome, everybody. Uh, December 18th, 2018. This is Johnny Almost B. Almost over. Almost over? What, December or 2018? Or the yeah. 18th? Both. Or today. <laughs> all three All three of them. <laughs> All three of them. Everything, everything's almost over, man. Everything. I know, I know. It's depressing. Yes. Oh, well. I know. Whatever. I know. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, Jim we're Nichols. live. We're live. Jim, Jim Nicholas <laughs> is in the is in the room. We got Rob Johnson. Everybody, who's that guy? Look. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, guys? How's everybody doing? Great to see everybody. Jared, what's up, David Ennis, Jim Nichols. Uh, Stafford Studio, Janice Lala, Michael James. Michael James, I'm going to give you props in a few minutes, buddy. You're a cool dude. Michael and I had a great conversation on the phone yesterday. and he's uh, Michael reached out to me uh, yesterday, and he's sending me some really cool stuff, which I'll get into after. But ben Coombs, R2R3, Michael Bishop, Brendan wow. B. Squared. Awesome. awesome. Hey, Chris. <clears throat> How you doing, Johnny? I'm I'm great, man. I'm, nice. I'm doing good. I'm doing doing good. Busy day yesterday. I uh, <laughs> took a special trip up to Walnut Creek yesterday. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Spent the day up there. Got back here. I don't know. Super late. <laughs> you know. Cool. And, and been busy all day long, and then here we are. Nice. Yep. Very cool. Brent rocks. Night. Hi, Nightbot. What's up, Nightbot? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. How's everything up in Walnut Creek? Oh, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. It's almost Christmas or something. So just yeah. shoppers everywhere, you know, because I don't know if anybody who doesn't live in the area, Walnut Creek is like one of the shopping destinations for the East Bay. Oh, really? That's yeah. where all the kind of higher end, uh, ritzy, I've I've always kind of said Walnut Creek is kind of like a mini Beverly Hills, mm. kind of, sort of. <clears throat> is it a big city? I mean, I've obviously heard of it, but uh, not really, not really. Hmm. No, well, I don't know. The reason I ask is I remember back in two thousand four. Remember the uh, oh. uh, Dwyer and Michaels uh, from yeah. uh, when they were interviewing Eddie. They were like, hey, what's what are you doing tonight? Walnut Creek. You're meeting Sammy up there. You guys are playing a live show. He's, and he's like, Walnut Creek? So I didn't know if it was a big, uh, I mean, I've known about it for a long time. I've never been there. But. Because of that radio interview. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. I, I remember that. That was, those guys were out of Iowa. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. And yeah. see, that that's how rumors get started. See, what happened was Sammy Hagar was playing a, a benefit in Walnut Creek that night. Mm -hmm. And this was right before the 2004 reunion tour happened. Right. So so these DJs were thinking, oh, you know, Van Halen's going to make a, a, an, an announcement tonight. Yeah. You know? Right. Which didn't didn't happen. And that wasn't, you know. Oh, yeah. who's that? This is Barney. <laughs> Barney, the <laughs> Barney the Chihuahua. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi, Barney. He's my girlfriend's dog. I watch him more than she does. So, <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Wow. Hey, Barney. But, so yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So it's like a, it's kind of like a lot of shopping outlets and stuff like that. And it's, 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 area. <clears throat> it's like outdoor, you know, out, outdoor mall kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, yep. so there's, there's not really indoor mall. It's like outdoor where it's, you know, right. Um, right. so anyway, Jason Newstead, no, he doesn't live in Walnut Creek anymore. He lives in Florida now. Hmm. Jason Newstead. Oh. Yeah. He cool. used to live out here. He, he used to live up in Walnut Creek. And and I remember he had a band uh, that was playing around all the time. Yep. Um, 
but anyway, so that so so you've heard of Walnut Creek because of that interview, oh, yeah. and those guys were like, were like Walnut Creek, yeah. I remember yeah. when I when I heard that I was living in a town called uh, Crockett at the time, yeah, which is further uh, towards the the water towards the bay. That's near that's near Miami Vice, isn't it? Miami? <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Tubbs and Crockett, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I remember when I heard that, and I remember thinking, "Wow, Walnut Creek," you know? Yeah, I mean, I've heard of Walnut Creek. I mean, even before that interview, but it was kind mm -hmm. of interesting. Is that north of you or south of you? It's north. Okay, it's it's about two hours north. Okay, <laughs> Zach, what's going on? Mad Dog, how you doing? Frank C. Is Zach a Mad Dog? <laughs> <laughs> Zach's a mad dog. <laughs> Sean Zimmerman. Hey. Hey, who else is in here? Anthony M. Mad dog. R2R3. Shout out R2R3. 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 Hey. hey, thanks, James. I miss you guys too. Um, yeah, I just been, uh, you know, just doing my thing and uh, staying busy and. Definitely doing the guitar thing. Any of you guys that follow me on uh, Instagram can certainly see uh, I've uh, <laughs> haven't been uh, quiet on the guitar end of things. I will be back on Facebook soon. I've just got some uh, professional stuff going on right now, so I've been off of Facebook until all that blows over. But uh, um, so I will be back on Facebook soon. But uh, right now I'm just on Instagram. So any of you guys that are thinking that I deleted you, that did not happen. So just stand by, and you will see me back on Facebook. But follow me on Instagram for sure. Definitely. Yes. Got is it cool the, stuff on there. Is it your same Instagram? Yeah, it's the same one. Rob CJ5150. Okay. Rob CJ5150. Yep. Okay. Um, so Nightbot should be should be posting that in the chat. The link yeah. That. Yeah. He used he was doing that the last time I was on. So yeah, that's kind of cool. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, definitely. I hope everybody's doing well and <laughs> happy holidays and uh all that good stuff. So <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be out in Johnny's neck of the woods in a few weeks. Be out there for uh, uh, Nam. That'll be fun. Hope to see Johnny and <clears throat> I mean everybody. You know, uh, Eric is that, and is that and coming up, Mark? Yeah, I think it's a, we're, we're going to Vietnam, aren't we? Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> we're all meeting in Vietnam. Yeah. We're going to Nam. Going to Nam. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm anxious to see everybody, Mark and. You know, Johnny and Craig and Pete and Scott and I mean just the list goes on and on and on and on and on. So be cool. All right, what do you want? I'll let you out in a little while. But uh yeah, it should be a good time. It should be fun. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So um so before I know you've got something you want to show off. I know that. I heard about it. <laughs> I've got something real quick. I've got a yeah. quick unboxing take your time have fun with it yeah huh? check out the photo i sent you anthony sent me a picture oh, i can't let me show this first okay okay i don't know if any of you guys have seen this this is i posted this um a friend on facebook posted this uh a couple few nights ago and it was like late at night you know because out here in california it's early when it's like you guys are sleeping over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. So this friend on Facebook posted this, and it, it's it's public now, so I, I can I can show it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if if any of the uh, Van Halen uh, sites have posted it yet, but I know some of them they know about it. Maybe they have. I don't know. But I've got a a, a Facebook friend that posted this. Have you? Did you? You didn't see this. The the no, title, the title of the video is called Football in Newport Beach, 1972. Have cool. You seen that? Have you seen that? No, no. <laughs> okay, I'll show you guys a little uh, a clip real quick. Let me make sure the music is turned off. But guess who this is? And while I'm showing this, don't say any, don't don't say anything because it, it won't. Uh... Where is it? Come on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who is this? Who's that in the blue shorts? 1972. Who do you think that is? 
I think I know. <laughs> That's cool. Can you show that one more time? Yeah, I can. I can actually show another. Uh... Here we go. Where is he? I think you see him at the very end. There he is. <laughs> Looks like he likes rushing the quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show that one more time. That is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it, it was um, 1972. 19, yeah. I wasn't even, we weren't even around yet. We weren't even born yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here, real quick again. Yeah, yeah, Football yeah. in Newport Beach, 1972. Um, and yeah, if you guys hadn't guessed, yeah, that's, that's Edward Van Halen, 1972, playing football. He would have been how old then? 20 no like 8 17 20, 20. <laughs> yeah like whoa i'm way too high yeah like 17 or he something. graduated he graduated high school in 73 is that right okay so, yeah so he was like 16 17 maybe yeah all right real quick in the blue shorts that's eddie 1972 The same kind of shorts we wear today. Same exact thing, you know? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. That's awesome. Very oh, cool. Oh, man. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I've I've never seen that. That's awesome. That's great. No, nobody had. It was uh, this, this uh, Facebook friend that, that posted it. Um, I think that's her brother. Her brother is playing football with, with Eddie. <laughs> That's so cool. And her cousin found the video. Yeah. Like found like found it recently and uploaded it. It almost looks like Alex was in there too, didn't it? it I mean, I, I don't know if that was. It looked like it might have been him. I don't know. I think white shorts with the black hair, yeah, long black hair. I don't know. Maybe don't not. Know. It, it maybe. Just look like maybe. Maybe. I don't know. That is what? really cool though. Why is the guitar in the milk? Great, <laughs> <laughs> guys. That's a new style, man. That's 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 the new uh, guitar stand. Yeah, the new guitar stands, milk crates. <laughs> <laughs> no, my my guitar got lost. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Hold on a minute, Barney. I'll let you out in a minute. Uh, what was I gonna do? Okay, there was a reason. That's funny. There was a reason I showed that first, so I could. Oh, oh. You're gonna show, you're gonna do an unboxing. You're gonna do an unboxing. I was unboxing. gonna do an unboxing. Mm -hmm. Oh, let, I got my list here. Okay, we did that. Okay, you're here. Mm -hmm. Cross that off. <laughs> Somebody else might be here at some point. Uh, we'll see if we see them in the in the chat. Uh, okay. Let me see. Um, who sent me the picture? <laughs> and where did you send it? <laughs> I'm assuming Facebook. So what what's it like? being facebook free you know uh you know it's actually kind of boring i uh <laughs> it's it's amazing when you i mean instagram is cool i mean you can still have a level of social media life with instagram and i do like instagram in some respects i like instagram better than facebook in some respects um it's more you know it's more right it's more immediate you know i mean you just post a picture boom is what i'm doing but I guess what I miss about Facebook is the, uh, I still have messenger. I still can message people. It's just that, like I said, professionally mm -hmm. speaking, separate now. right. Yeah. So I can still get messages. It's just that in professionally with my, so like I said, a professional thing with my job going on right now, that's why I'm off. But, um, I'm, um, it's, it's strange. It's, it's, it's kind of lonely. You know, it's, it's, you don't realize how much you actually, uh, enjoy it's like reading the newspaper maybe back in the 70s or 80s or 90s you know people would get up in the morning and they read the newspaper not because you have all your friends in the newspaper but that was your social way of you know having your coffee and kind of knowing what's going on um 
I I really liked seeing what everybody else is doing, and you know, it's 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 definitely a bigger group than what Instagram is. You know what I mean? Oh, he, he wants to go out. <laughs> he wants to go out. <laughs> he just went out a couple hours ago. I don't know what his problem is, but uh, yeah, yeah. You know, Jared, it's the same. You, you know, you're right. I mean, I. I Sometimes I don't miss it. Sometimes it's kind of nice to get away from the drama because there is a lot of drama on Facebook. I choose not to get involved with the drama end of it, but after a couple of weeks, you kind of miss it. You know, I kind of miss seeing what everybody's doing, and because not everybody that's on Instagram is on Facebook. You know, um, it's a different thing. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's the it's the internet. Uh, all right. the dr all the drama is, is the internet. Oh, exactly. You exactly. know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've experienced all that myself. Yeah, you yeah. know, and it's like, it's just strange, right? Very, very yeah. strange. Because if we were all in real, if we were all in one room in real life, ninety nine percent of all the crap that happens wouldn't actually happen <laughs> if we were yeah. all looking at each other face to face. Yeah, well, it's the same thing. Like you know, I heard I was reading this thing the other day at. Uh, uh, it said, why is there, not, you know, not to get in a political debate, but why is there so much road rage? People are in cars, you know, everybody wrote and cut somebody off. But in the grocery store, if you walk in front of somebody, nobody, you don't see people raging on each other in the grocery store if you walk in front of somebody. But for some reason, when you're behind the wheel, it creates this whole new dynamic of, of anger and, you know, ah, you know, it's, so I don't know, it's strange. Mm -hmm. But you're right, if we were all in the same room, People would be a little bit more respectful, I would, would think, you know. Mm -hmm. but, or, or they just don't talk to you. <laughs> or they just don't talk. To you. Either one. <laughs> it's either one. You know. Right, right, right. But right. no, when you when you're in a car, it's it's like you're watching TV. You know. Yeah. It's like you got your own. You're in your own little box world, and that's why when you're at a stoplight, you're looking in your mirror. You see people picking their noses. You see people doing <laughs> no. all this crap that they yeah. normally wouldn't yeah. be doing because they they think you can't see them. Right. You know, when you can. Right. The one thing I'll say about Facebook, and don't get me wrong, I mean, everybody, I'm, I'm not slamming people that do this because it's everybody's got their own prerogatives. And, and like I said, that's the beauty of Facebook and things like that because people post what they like and what, you know, they want to show other people what they're interested in. But I always thought it was interesting. I mean, and maybe some people see the stuff that I post, you know, with the things that I do other than just guitar stuff, martial arts and other things and whatever. And if you like that, that's great. If you don't, that's fine too. But the guitar stuff, the Van Halen thing, we all have that in common. But I always thought it was funny, you know, people will post a picture of like, um, you know, like a plate of food they're eating or going to a, a, a taco bar. And that's cool. I like that. I think that's really interesting. But, you know, it's like, I've always wanted to like, uh, you know, as a joke, because you see so many people posting stuff that like you look at and you're like, I don't care, but I don't care that you're reading the newspaper. You know what the hell do I care? I wanted to, you know, for the for the one of these days, I want to post a picture of like the toilet. You know, like here's what I'm doing right now. You know what I mean? Like take a picture of the toilet paper, almost out of toilet paper. But but I mean, people actually have done that. You know, it's so funny. Well, that was the big <laughs> joke. That was the big joke when Twitter first started. Right. You know, like 10, 11 years ago. That was the big, big joke, you know, that people are tweeting how they're about to use the bathroom. <laughs> you know, yeah. um, I know what you mean, though. I, I, I know what, what you're saying. And as far as the, the post and the pictures of the food, you know, it's called. That's being, cool. It's called being a foodie. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I, cool. I, I used to do that. I used to do that. And then eventually I started feeling bad <clears throat> for posting like what I'm eating. Cause I know there's somebody out there looking at that picture being like, man, that looks good. I'm so hungry. And I can't, I can't afford that Yeah. or, or whatever. And so I started feeling, so I, I don't post pictures of food anymore because of that. <laughs> we you went know? out to dinner the other night, uh, my girlfriend and I, and she's taking pictures, you know, and put it on her story on Instagram with the food. We went to an Italian restaurant <laughs> and I'm like looking at them. Like she showed me the picture. I'm like, why does the picture look so much better than the food actually does? You know, <laughs> the lighting and everything, you know, mm -hmm. but that's pretty cool. Normally it's the opposite. Normally, yeah, exactly. I know people that when they see pictures of food, you know, on Instagram or Facebook, they're like, that looks disgusting. Yeah. That doesn't look good. Jim Nichols dropping the kids off at the pool. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh gosh. But, uh, 
Yeah, I, I think it's cool. I mean, I think that's the beauty of social media. I think, um, you know, I mean, who am I or anybody else to say, oh, that's stupid. I, you know, whatever. Hey, if you don't like it, don't look at it. But I'm sure a lot of the stuff that I post, you know, it's like, I mean, I'll post pictures of my guitars and stuff. And my daughter will be like, dad, you know, we nobody cares about your guitars. And I'm like, well, I beg to differ with you on that one, sweetheart. But, you know, it's like you know, yeah. people her age, they just, just well, that's cool, but so what? You know, it's like, mm -hmm. I just think it's, you know, it's great. I mean, I, I, people do what they, what makes them happy. That's what it's all about, being happy and expressing yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's something I've I've realized, you know, being on the internet, on YouTube or Facebook, Facebook or Instagram or whatever, mm -hmm. is people post all different kinds of stuff. And unless it's it's hurtful, you know, unless it's certain words I can't say, you know, 918V, you know, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. unless it's any of that stuff, <clears throat> you can't you can't blame anybody for posting, you know, people post whatever they want and they're going to do and say whatever they want. Yeah. You know? right. and, and and, you know, somebody's going to offend somebody without even knowing it. And right. that's how a lot of that drama starts. You know, somebody offends yeah. some, some offends somebody not even knowing about it. Next thing you know, you know. Right. And then the people are back and forth and fighting. And yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, man, that, that dinner you ate last night, that looked horrible. I hate you. <laughs> Don't ever post that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, yeah I've, 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 I've realized, man, that people post whatever they want. If you like it, you know, hit the like. If you don't. Does, yeah. Facebook, does Facebook do thumbs downs? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. know. I think they did and they stopped, maybe. Well, I think you can do the emojis like, Bleh, you know. Oh, whatever, like uh, the mad, maybe. Face, the mad face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, the, the one thing I will say is I try not to post things that – the one thing I try to do on it, on when, I, when I'm on social media, whether it be Facebook or Instagram, I try to stay away from politics. I try to stay away from – really uh, sensitive topics. I mean, there's there's a couple of things maybe that I post that not everybody would agree with, but as far as politics speaking, you know, I, I try to stay away from that because I don't get on social, that, that's the difference with me and a lot of people. Some people try to like poke, you know, they try to like, you know, uh, stir the pot, you know, and they want to create debate yeah. and fighting. I don't want to do that. When, I, when I'm on, I want to entertain people. I want to show things that people like to see. If someone doesn't want to see what I'm doing, that's fine. You know, don't like it or don't look at it. It's cool. But I, I, try, to, I try to post things that I think people would think is cool, that, mm -hmm. that people would be, inter, you know, interested in entertaining, like, like watching a movie, you know. Um, so that's kind of what I have always – that's how I try to look at it. I've never tried to, you know, put something up that's offensive to somebody or that would – you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, no matter what yeah. you do, you can't please everybody. But at the no, same no time, matter no matter what you post, you're going to offend somebody, no right, matter exactly. what it is. Exactly. It doesn't matter. It doesn't yep. matter. You know, I used to only post uh, to Facebook maybe once a day. Yeah. You know, I used to because I figured you post more than one. You post more than one thing, it it gets to be too much. Yeah, people just get kind of sick of it. You know, they just you know blaze over it or. Whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. why I, I keep my, my personal uh, profile, you know, one way. And then <laughs> I've, you got the public page where you can just spam nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> Take this, everybody. You're going to you're going <laughs> to like this. Yeah. And then Howie, <laughs> Howie can post whatever he wants. Right. And Howie, <laughs> he's got yeah all his yeah, stuff. Yeah. You know, he gets yeah. way more likes than I do, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh look at him he's adorable you know <laughs> yeah uh let's see um okay let's let me do this i've got something to unbox right here yeah go for it right here and somebody was going to jump into the chat um i don't know we'll see okay we'll see but hey <clears throat> i got something right here i don't know if you can see uh very cool very yeah. cool Let's just do it. Unboxing, un unpackaging. <laughs> See if I can get it open before somebody says what it is in the chat. Jimmy Carr just sent me a message. He's like, I can't wait to see what you're going to be showing for a guitar in a few minutes. I'm surprised <laughs> he doesn't know what it is. It's all over Instagram. But... 
<laughs> hint, hint, guys, check it out before I unbox it. It's not on. It's already unboxed. It's right here. Yeah. You got a new keyboard? Is that there it is. Yeah. <laughs> There's a new keyboard. Oh, that, that, actually, that that is a new keyboard. But no, it's not. It's not what I got. But <laughs> it's what I use. Oh, look at this! Look at look. You guys know you know what that is. I know what that is. <laughs> look look at that. Alan. that is awesome. There it is, Caleb. That is so cool. Look at that. That's awesome. Am I blurry? Hopefully, I'm not blurry. Just a little bit, not bad. Though. Oh, there we go. Caleb, thank you, man. And he's got a guitar pick taped at the top. That is awesome. That's cool. That's pretty cool. There it is. <laughs> oh, the new one. You got the new one. Here, let me. Uh... Here we go. I got I the tape. <laughs> tape. Tape it on. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Here's, here's the brand new Nerd Halen pick. That's awesome. Right there. Very cool. Thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool guy. Uh, incredible guitarist. And uh, yeah, nice t-shirt for sure. Oh. Awesome. Caleb's great, man. Oh, here's the two, here, here's the two picks right next to each other. Yeah, Caleb's playing tonight. Nice. Um, I want to say at the Whiskey Go-Go. Very cool. Um, although, Nerds! Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Ogre. <laughs> although Caleb did say that he would jump in here with us for a little bit. Nice. So, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Very cool. There we go. I like that shirt. It's pretty cool. Oh. <clears throat> Caleb, thank you so much, man. There we go. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> the glasses just do it for me. It's perfect. You know, I know that's <laughs> so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Here, here's a, here's a, a close up. That's so perfect. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Caleb. Very cool. Let's see. Thrash Metal and Fun Riffs, uh, Saturday Night Live, did a spoof this week called Revenge of the Dorks with Ogre shouting dorks. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in so long. So fun, though. Pretty cool. Yeah. No, I, I haven't. I haven't either. I saw, I saw one of them in the theater. One of those I actually <laughs> saw in the theater, like on a birthday. I think the original one, Revenge of the Nerds, came out in like 1984. And then. It wasn't that one. Yeah. What, yeah. And then there was Nerds. Well, I don't forget the other one. Nerds in Paradise. And I mean, it just went on. That was it. Okay. Nerds in Paradise. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the one. Because I, I remember yeah. I remember the uh, the actress in, in, the, in the movie. I remember seeing her. Um, a few years later on uh, on a show called Melrose Place. Yes, yes, I know what you're talking about. I can't remember her name, but they had some cool music in that uh, that movie, Nerds in Paradise. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the third one? Was, was it? Was it? Okay. That's Avenger the Nerds, 1980. Oh, okay. Third movie was in 84. All right. Huh? No. None, I didn't think it Terry, none of that's right, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not. The original Nerds <laughs> was probably 80. The original the first one was probably 84. Yeah. The first one was probably 84. I know the one that I saw would have been like 87, 88. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Somewhere. Well, Zeke, uh, yeah, uh, sit tight. Uh, good to see you too. And uh, yeah, sit tight. I have something I'm going to be showing here in a few minutes. So, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, booger, booger, booger's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go see Revenge of the Nerds now. Lambda, <laughs> lambda, uh, was it? Wasn't that the sorority or the fraternity? I should say, lambda, lambda, or something. Something like that. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, those That's those funny. movies. <laughs> those classic though. Uh, 
Yeah. I want to give a give a shout out to uh, Michael James. Really, really cool guy. Um, <clears throat> Michael James uh, saw my new fifty one fifty, the one that I got a, a couple months ago, month and a half ago, whatever it was. And uh, <clears throat> you know, I got the whale tail Floyd on it. Everybody's doing the whale tails now for their uh, for their fifty one fifties, this and that. And uh, the one thing I didn't have on it was actually the um, um, the prototype vintage nut. And there's a little history. I mean, Eddie still has the original prototype vintage nut on his, but the clamps he's using aren't the original clamps that he had on there. They got swapped out, and so did the string retainer too. But the original nut is the original prototype, and 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 they're. They're just a little bit more crude of a shape. They're a little more squared off. That they, they don't they don't angle up where the strings go in, and just a couple different things. But um, mm -hmm. Michael uh, James sends me a message yesterday, and then he ends up giving me a call, and he's like, uh, he's sending me a couple of these nuts. Uh, he's going to send me one for my fifty one fifty, and he's sending me another one because I'm redoing my Kramer Neptune guitar, the one that's actually in Hard Rock Cafe in Hollywood. I'm yeah. having that redone right now too. That's getting repainted now. Hubbard's doing that one too, and um, that one has an original whale tail on it too. So just a really cool guy. I just want to say thank you, Michael James. Uh, I'm actually going to send him a couple of uh, a live Van Halen live videos, and uh, just a really great guy. Uh, just want to give him a shout out and say thank you very much. I really really appreciate that, uh, and, and they will come in perfect. They really will. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Mm -hmm. that is cool yeah yeah <clears throat> i think nestall's done a couple videos here and there about what the difference is you have to actually hold the two nuts next to each other to really see it's kind of different it's just that the vintage ones are a little bit more crude i mean you 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 know what the difference <laughs> is don't you johnny you've seen them before the the vintage ones kind of kind of hang down a little lower <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> Like like uh, bad grandpa or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I think John uh, John Biel's got it. Revenge of the Nerds, nineteen eighty four. Yep, that's what I said. Revenge of the Nerds two, Nerds in Paradise eighty seven. Yeah. Okay, then just goes on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cool. That sounds about right. I think nineteen eighty. Uh, whoever whoever said that, I forget who said that. Nineteen eighty. That was um, uh, Animal House. Animal House was nineteen eighty, where uh, uh, Jim Belushi was it John Belushi or Jim Belushi puts a put the John egg Belushi. in his mouth. Yeah, puts the egg in his mouth. He goes like that. Yeah. What's, what am I a Yeah, that was nineteen eighty. Was that eighty? Yeah. Yeah, that was eighty. That was Animal House. I do know that because I remember seeing that. I was just like seven years old, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I never saw that one. Yeah, Porky's I, or Animal House. Yeah, it was one of those two. Yeah, yeah, Porky's. Oh, I remember that one too. <laughs> Porky's. <laughs> <laughs> mad Mad Dog says, "I'm a zit." That's right. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, cool. Uh, anyways. Hey, right. Sierra. Welcome. Janice. Oh, Craig. Craig. Craiger, Craig. what's up, Craiger? What's up? Oh. That wasn't my chair. <laughs> <laughs> that was the man my that, unboxing. That is that is low, man. I know. It's really low. All right. You guys tell what this is? Okay. First off, before I show you what guitar this is, you got to tell me if you know. And I know it's Google, so it's going to sound like crap. But tell me if you know. If I'll, give you a, I'll give you a hint. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, that's all you get. Who can tell me what they think this might be? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? 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 <laughs> man, that is low, man. That's I know, I know. This is two burritos and a root beer float. <laughs> this is a new toy. Look at and, that. Uh, yeah, it's cool. Uh, and I'll explain the drop the hell bridge here in a second. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a USA Wolfgang body. Um, basically, it's a USA Wolfgang neck arch uh, 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 tilt back. It's uh, actually a custom made one. I'm not going to say who did it, but it's actually a Wolfgang. And it was custom painted by uh, Chris Hubbard. And um, <clears throat> I saw he did this about a year ago. He had it at my house uh, for the last year's con. And um, it's just a really cool guitar. And he was getting rid of it. And he asked me if it's something I wanted. And I said, absolutely, because I really fell in love with it. So if you guys saw the two and a half men um, skit Eddie did with uh, Charlie Sheen back in what, 2008, 2009, this is the guitar that he had. And Eddie was, this is one of the first, one of the first Wolfgangs they, they, they made. Um, right after the 2007 tour and this had the infamous drop to hell uh, bridge piece on it uh, this is a actually a Schaller bridge um, this is a goto bridge here Schaller bridge um, i'll show you a picture in a minute that was modified all this extra stuff here was just added by by chris the pole here the little piece here all this stuff here the screw heads i actually put these on yesterday um, to kind of make it look more like the drop to hell. The fine tuners are, spe are special ones uh, to look like the drop to hell bridge because you can't get this bridge. So this basically is nothing more than a locking nut like Ed's and a stop tail piece with fine tuners. And like I said, this normally on the drop to hell, this, this is the uh, lever that you push back and you can lower the pitch um, uh, on basically right down to... I'm not 100% sure. You, there's a bunch of different settings that this knob you can set it to, um, and you can lower that low E string. And uh, basically, this lever just goes down, up, down, and you can bring it back and forth. It's basically like a like a glorified D tuna. So yeah, this is uh, this is the guitar. There, uh, other than that, it's all standard Wolfgang pickups. Um, you know, um, all the hardware is exactly the same. But uh, yeah, really, really cool. Chris did an amazing job on the paint job and relic it to look just like Eddie's. And the guitar that it is, is if you look at the old guitar world, like this one here, it's, it, this is the guitar. This is the Burritos guitar. Um, and another picture of it. You don't see Eddie with this guitar that much anymore. Um, he was using it all the time for a while there. And then all of a sudden, you just you didn't really see it. Um, I have one other really cool picture of it here. I'll show you guys. It's pretty cool. I can find it. Here it is. Really cool picture. And they did a a, a Guitar World um, cover of this guitar and four and three other Wolfgang guitars. What two thousand eight? I think it was Johnny. I think that's what it was. Uh, somewhere around there, yeah. Yeah, but just a really, really cool guitar. Um, and Eddie actually, I believe, recorded the song as is on this guitar. And then after, um, when they went on tour in 2012, he didn't bring this particular guitar on tour. He actually brought this one. It's a, a tobacco version with the drop to hell tailpiece. And then he's got this white one with a drop to hell tailpiece with a little tiny little white kill switch. So he brought those two guitars that had the drop to hell tailpiece. And as you can tell, um, I think the tuning on this, the, the low E is tuned to B. It's tuned down to B. And then the rest of the strings, I forget what they are, uh, are tuned up. I know. 
the B string is tuned to C and the high E string is tuned to F. And that's how you get that, you know, that's kind of how you get that. You know, um, mm -hmm. and then basically the whole riff, you know, that he does is pretty much mostly just pull outs. So really cool guitar, a lot of fun. This is, uh, one of the new uh one of the new ones so pretty 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 psyched to have this one and uh, i want to give chris a lot of credit for this because he did an amazing job on it um scott smith called me today and he was like how do you like it and i said it's amazing um like i said this is probably the closest you're ever going to get to a drop to hell looks wise because <laughs> they just don't make them but he just did an amazing job on it it's all totally custom and it's nothing more than just a, a stock tail piece, but this looks pretty cool. So, yeah, so that's uh, that's the new toy. Um, very neat. That's cool. That's that's very cool. That yeah, it looks it looks cool. Yeah, it did, did a good job. Sounds on cool, it. man. I I just I can't I can't believe how low that is. Yeah, I know it's real low. I mean, you can I can tune. I'll probably end up tuning it to standard. You know, eventually, just because. Um, I mean, I want to play other songs on it than just, just that, but it is kind of cool. You know, like I said, it, when you, when you try to play that chord, uh, I've been trying to figure out as is the last couple of days since I've had it, but you try to play that chord, it just sounds, it doesn't sound right when you, you know, when you're trying to play it on something standard. But if you listen to the album, I really think Eddie is chugging on that, on that low E to B. It almost reminds me of good enough, you know? Uh-huh, 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 yeah. right. Yeah. But I mean, the whole idea of the drop to hell uh, tailpiece is it's, it's kind of like a detuner, basically, except you can, you can tune it to different settings. It's, it's, almost like a, it's almost like a trans trim without a bar for only the low E. And a lot of people think that the, the drop to hell affects the other strings. Unfortunately, the drop to hell only affects the low E string. It doesn't really do anything with the other strings, which, you know, um, a lot of people have asked, why did Eddie never come out with that? You know, and um, I got a little bit of insight on that. Um, I don't know how accurate it is, but I've, you know, there was a time years ago when this was supposed to be coming out, you know, it was gonna be an accessory for a lot of the guitars. And from what I've heard is it just wasn't a market for it. There wasn't enough interest in it. Um, you know, like a D-Tune is a little different or a Floyd Rose, but this particular thing, I guess there just wasn't enough um, a, enough of a market is what I've heard. And, and I don't know if that's true or not, but, you know, like I said, it is pretty, it's pretty cool. I'd, I'd love to, to, see them, um, to see them come out. I know mm -hmm. if if any of you guys have this magazine, the Guitar Man magazine, it's a really cool magazine. You can get it on eBay. It's a Japanese magazine. Um, one of the guys, <laughs> this is really cool. One of the guys that actually made this magazine, I've spoken to him before, actually made a drop to hell tailpiece. And in the back of this book, he goes through all of the schematics on how to make one exactly the sizes and everything and he shows wow. you know close up pictures on on his you know and how to do it and it's really really cool so maybe one day we'll get lucky and we'll actually be able to get one of these the nice thing is johnny if you if, if they ever came out with one of these you could put one of these on your guitar mm -hmm. on, on your wolfgang mm -hmm. I, on just the hardtail just the hardtail piece just yeah replace it yeah, exactly. I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if there's any routing or anything. I, I would think maybe it's, you know, if they came out with one, it would be plug and play. So I don't know. We'll see. See what happens. But yeah, so this is the new toy. Yep. And uh, did a pretty cool job on the headstock and, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so new toy. So I'll be having some fun with this. <laughs> but, that, that, ha that has to sound amazing through your, your actual amp. Oh, it does. I did a you know, I posted a video uh, the other day of I was messing around with my sustainer guitar, my PV Wolfgang. Mm -hmm. If any of you guys seen the uh, It's About Time video um, on YouTube, Eddie does this little really cool intro with a sustainer. 
So I was trying to like figure that out. But then when I plugged this in um, last night, it came yesterday. I plugged it in uh, this morning, and because I, I did a little bit of fine tuning on the on the uh, bridge just to kind of modify a couple little things, to tweak a couple little things. And um, I'm amazed. I mean, these are Wolfgang pickups, but this guitar just sounds incredible. It really sounds amazing. Um, and I mean, they're the same pickups as the regular Wolfgang pickups. But I'm mm. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. It's it sounds incredible through my through my rig. Yeah. So I'll be having some fun with this one. And it's amazing because it doesn't have a bar. So usually I'll play a Floyd Rose guitar. But now that I've been kind of jamming on this, it's it's amazing. I mean, you know this, Johnny. Once you kind of let the bar go, I don't really miss it that much. You know, I'm kind of having fun playing a barless guitar. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I know what yeah. you mean. I I had to. I actually had to get away from the Floyd Rose. Yeah. And all that. Some years back, actually, a lot of years. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of years back, I had to get get away from the Floyd and 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 just do the regular, you know, yeah, re regular stuff, um, because it it makes you uh, just you can come up with other other things if right. you're not hitting that whammy bar, you know, nonstop. Yeah, I mean, it's you easy know? to get into that, you know, that mode, and I mean, I I, I love to abuse the bar, but I mean. It becomes a crutch sometimes too, for me. I mean, I'll speak for myself. You know, I notice when I play a Floyd Rose guitar too much, and I love playing the Floyd Rose guitars. Don't get me wrong, because I love using the bar. It be, for me sometimes I, I I I don't I don't focus on my playing as much as I should. I just abusing the bar, making noises, mm -hmm. which is fun. You know, it's it, that's the thing about that sustainer guitar. It's just it's so much fun. Whenever I pick up the sustainer guitar, all I'm doing is just, you know, squeals and, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but. Yeah, yeah. I, I No, I, I know exactly, exactly what, exactly what you mean. Yeah. You know, yeah. But, uh, oh, uh, let's see, uh, Bozik. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Bozik, I must have missed it. Yeah. Is the neck. Uh, a real EVH USA neck or a custom made piece. Um, I was asked not to actually say who made this neck because of copyright. So I, I won't, uh, if, if you guys want to like message me outside of here, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to, you know, tell you what it is, but this is uh, actually a custom made neck. Um, it's uh, made to exact specifications as the Wolfgang. Uh, it's even got the binding and it is a tilt back. It's maple bird's eye. It's got, you know, it's 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 exact specs to a real Wolfgang neck, and you can't tell the difference. It feels exactly like a USA neck. But this is a USA body. Um, it used to be a stealth body. Um, stop tail piece, <clears throat> obviously. Um, and the bridge was swapped out. And But this is a custom-made neck, custom logos, and because it's so hard to find the white logo for Wolfgang. But, uh, uh, but yeah, it feels exactly like the real thing. Um, Wow, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> and like I said, Hubbard did an amazing job. So, you know, Chris is a good friend. I talk to him all the time. And he's actually redoing my Neptune guitar for me right now. He's redoing the paint job. Uh -huh. um, I just redid my 918V a couple weeks ago. I did that one myself. And um, I just wanted a little bit more attention to detail on my uh, Neptune. I did, it, I did it the last time myself. So I sent it up to Chris and he's kind of reshaping the headstock to make it look more like a paddle, um, knocking the paint job out. And um, so that'll be redone again too. And then <clears throat> that's probably going to do it for me for a while. <laughs> that's enough guitars. So. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Enough guitars? You... Yeah. Is there such a thing? No. There's not such a thing. No such thing as enough guitars. <laughs> Thank you, Michael James. And again, I don't know if you saw this, but I gave you props a little while ago, buddy. Thank you very much for sending those nuts out. I appreciate it. That's going to be great. Mm -hmm. But uh, so, what's up with you? What else is going on? Me? Yeah. Oh, I've got a. a it's Telly Tuesday. I've got my Telecaster sitting in a 
milk crate. <laughs> that's the new guitar stand. <laughs> it's a it's a new guitar. Yeah, you guys, that's that's you know. <laughs> Telly Tuesday. That's right. Yeah. See now, watch everybody will have these in the background now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I love that guitar stand in the uh, in the closet. I like that. That's so cool. Oh. Oh yeah. 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 This is a, a new uh, addition to the uh, just the the room. Yeah. You know, I've got all the guitars in there, and then obviously I, I put I put the sign up when I open it up. You know. Yeah. I've oh, got yeah. guitar straps over here, you know, and and uh, it's 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 nice. Blue spoof mark on the nine one eight V. You're talking about the little star, the little blue star. Yeah, yeah, that's um, that's cool. It took me forever a couple weeks ago redoing that because there's no real good pictures of it. So actually, I got a picture. I'll show you guys. Speaking of that, this this is what I use when I was. But it's, but it's not it. a good picture. <laughs> well, I, I found this picture eventually. This is finally what I used. The nine one eight V guitar has this little blue star on it, and it looks just like this. That's basically what it is. Um, and it's some kind of a sticker or something that Eddie stuck on there back in the eighties, and it, it it actually looks like a Christmas star is what it looks like. But it's some kind of a like a blue ribbon paper or something that he used because it's kind of shiny, like a reflective tape or something. So I've seen them before over the years. I've seen those, and I, I never really, um, I never really bought any because I never really thought I was going to be doing the nine one eight V. And then I did one last year, and of course, then you can't find the stickers anywhere. So just getting the shape mm -hmm. just right was was kind of tricky, but it's kind of fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Yeah, I mean that's that's very cool. Oh yeah, by the way, Nesdal is not here. If anybody did anybody even notice? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody even noticed. <laughs> yeah, Nesdal uh isn't here. Jay is not here either. Put a good put a shout out to both of those guys, Jay and Dave. Hope you guys are having a good night. Well, they're not together. <laughs> <laughs> So we know we don't know that for sure, but yeah, <laughs> no, no, um, no. Jay, Jay, Jay told me uh, a couple days ago that he couldn't be here, and of course, Nezal told us like you know five minutes before. <laughs> you know. no, I'm, just I'm, I'm just kidding. Thank you, Bazik. It's kind of fun to be back. I'm going to try to do some more of these. Actually, I for you guys, I, I actually finally, and uh, Johnny knows about this, but uh, I, I finally got set up where I can actually do my own videos. I have yet to really do one yet, but um, I finally did get set up so I what can kind actually. What videos? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Having a setup. Well, you'll well you'll have to show up to find out. But, uh, There's but, a subscription uh, to that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you got to subscribe. <laughs> You'd be like Dave wearing a shirt with no pants, you know. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, just more fun to come on, hang out with people, you know. But I mean, I mean, I was, I'll probably do a couple little ones here and there. People just want, you know, answer questions or whatever. But I just, I enjoy more coming on, hanging out with Johnny and Dave and Jay and, and the guys. It's just more fun, you know. But mm -hmm. <laughs> so. <laughs> Johnny Bean, what picks do you and Rob use? Oh. You go first. You mean our selfies? Yeah, you're talking about picks or uh, like, <laughs> like picks? Because we're both of us. We're very good at selfies. Oh, yeah. I know I am. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was the guitar. Yeah, that was the guitar. Well, currently, I'm actually I'm holding this one right now. Nerds! The... Uh, <laughs> You got this is a vintage Nerd Halen pick because there's a new one out now. Oh, speaking of Nerd Halen, yo, Caleb is uh messaging me as I'm. Let me see if he's uh, is he in the chat? Um, I'll use I'll use anything, I'll use any kind, but I use uh, the Herco uh, Flex 75s. I've got my own. Here's actually one I found in, a, in an old uh, case. 
Oh, that's cool. A Johnny Bean. A Johnny Bean in green. Um, Johnny Bean in green. And yeah, I'm actually I'm I'm get, looking to get new uh, new picks for 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 Nam. So plus I've got the new domain now. You know I've got Johnny Bean TV now. You know. Very cool. Uh, so let me let me just get to Caleb really quick. Yeah. But yeah. What, what do you use, man? I actually normally I'll use the Eddie Van Halen the EVH picks, um, the the light ones or. Uh, you know, I'll, sometimes I'll go back and forth between the Jazz threes because I because I um, uh, I sometimes like that little bit of smaller pick and, and the harder surface. But typically, I like a light pick, a very light pick, um, especially when you're doing the fluttering stuff. You know, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> blank palette. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving all my guitars away for Christmas presents, so. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, I go back and forth. Typically, I like the lighter ones, you know, for the way that I play. But I've actually been lately. I've been trying to do a lot more finger picking, which is something I never have done a lot of before. But I've, I mean, I, I mean, I will normally use a pick when I play. But I mean, I've been trying to do a lot more finger picking to kind of um, just get more comfortable with it because after twenty something years, it's just something I never did much of, you know, um, except for songs like "Summer Nights" and you know. Finish what you started, man. I know how to play those finger style, but um, I saw a YouTube video. Um, I think Tone King was uh, interviewing somebody at GitCon or something. I forget what it was, and this I forget who this guy was, but he was just finger picking, and it was just like, whoa! I mean, the guy was playing better than I, the guy. The guy never used a pick ever, and he was an incredible guitarist, and I just was fascinated. I'm like, you know. Not that I want to get away from using a pick, but I would like to be a little bit more versatile. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> as, as far as me, <laughs> I'm just going to talk about about myself now for the rest of. Yeah, the go ahead. Go on. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> just for a little while. Just for a little while. Just for a few hours. Yeah. Um. No. As far as as what I like to use, I'll use anything. But I actually I play more acoustic guitar with without a pick. Hmm. You know? Do you strum okay, all right. Do I what? I was gonna say <laughs> yeah. When you when you play, and this is a question I have because I'm I'm wondering when you when you actually hit a chord mm -hmm. when you're not using a pick, do you actually play with your finger or your thumb or the both of them together? Both. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Both. Both. But I do remember when I first started playing the guitar, I must have like bought one pick and lost it. Because I remember for, for a while, I actually had an, an indent in this finger, in the, the fingernail yeah. itself. Mm -hmm. I had like a like it was indented because yeah. I I'd, I'd been playing without a pick for a while. Yeah. I mean, you can actually harden up your finger. In your thumb to to not have to use a pick, you know. I guess, mm -hmm. and, but I've always felt kind of you know alien when I don't have a pick in my hand. But you know, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. If if that's something you can get used to, um, it's not not bad, right? Not bad, you know. But yeah, you do have to be a little more careful. Yeah. Although I've I've met other guitar players that don't use picks yeah you know i guess it's how you learn i mean it's what you practice obviously if you practice something enough one way you're going to get proficient at it you know but um clayton james uh yes today is telecaster tuesday and clayton yes clayton james hey clayton and it, who's this santa hey hey hey, hey. <laughs> what's up what's hey, going man. on man how are you? Good. How are you doing, man? I'm good. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. How's everybody doing out there? Oh, doing fantastic. Can't complain. What Love that t-shirt, dude. That is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's wow, so you, cool. You got one of those, too? Did you get one? I got one, man. Oh, nice. I got, I got one. It. It's right here. Did you I know? Got, Did you know I, I got, got one? I think I think you did. Did you see? By Try the way, did you see the brand new Nerd Halen pick? Yep. 
Yep. Where is it? Oh, don't, <laughs> don't lose it. I gave you one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I showed. I was yeah. showing. It. That's cool, man. That is cool. <laughs> I like the old ones too. Nerds. That's the yeah. Best one. That's awesome. That's yeah. Cool, I, I think I might. I mean, I, those are still on file, so I might, I might use both. So. <laughs> you got a gig tonight or something, or? Um. I'm playing in the Ultimate Jam, which is like my fourth time now, I think. And uh, I'll be doing Cinderella and Def Leppard. Sweet. So, Very cool, man. Yeah. Gyp- Gypsy awesome. Road. Gypsy Road and Foolin'. Oh. Great no, song. Foolin'. No Foolin'? Yeah. Foolin'. <laughs> Johnny. That's a, yeah. <laughs> You missed it before, Kale. He had a piece of tape stuck to his neck, so it was like holding it on. So it looked like he was wearing it. <laughs> I'll roll it back. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have to watch the unboxing. Yeah. 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 Or un- unbagging was the goal. Unbagging, yeah. <laughs> Did you see the new guitar by any chance? Have you caught uh, it yet? No. no. Let's see it. All right, well, I'll, I'll give you a little intro. Tell me if All you right. can tell. <laughs> Anyways, let it go there. Oh, I saw that video. Yeah. So this is the Burritos uh, As Is guitar. Wait a minute. So that was on Reverb last week, wasn't it? Or was uh, there might have been another one. Yeah. Was Hubbard, Hubbard, what did you do to me? Yeah. Was, was Hubbard selling that last week? He might. You know, he might have been. I don't know. He because he messaged me and he's like, like, like last week. He's like, hey, do you want this thing? And I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. So I don't know. Maybe he did have it on there for a little while, but it's got the it's got the fake drop the hell bridge on it. It's pretty cool though. You know. That's awesome. Yeah, it really he did a freaking kick ass job on this guitar though, man. It's, I love when really I see cool. when I see any kind of you know really cool looking Van Halen guitar on reverb. Like one of three people are gonna scoop <laughs> that thing up. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I and I, I know, know that. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. Which is it gonna be David Allen Wright? Is it gonna be Rob Johnson? You know, <laughs> yeah. Someone. Well, I think Rob Johnson's about uh, drained the bank here. You know, I think Rob's about done with guitars. I'm at 31 right now, so unbelievable. I'm unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. Hey, hey, you have a trans trim. That's all. It. That's the only thing I'm going to play when I come over to your house. One of these days, I'm telling you seriously. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I wish there was a way I could actually bring it to Nam and you could check it out, but. Um, I'm sure we can hook up on another way, but you got to try this thing, man. It is such a fun guitar. It is so cool. Well, and you don't even have to be playing Eddie stuff with it. You can just play, you know, play with a bar and walking it up and down. Well, it's so wacky. I mean, from someone who's, you know, I've, I've almost tried to, I mean, I've tried so over the years to learn the Summer Nights intro in, in standard, but just yeah. funky, funky chords. And it is not <clears> easy. <throat> Um, it's it's tough. I mean, you can play it just you, down low, like when he drops do it. it, but it, but it just doesn't sound the same. I know what you mean. No, I mean you just go up, you know, three or four frets, and you, you're just right. playing funky looking chords, and you can yeah, you can you can nail it. It's just you <clears> know, <throat> it's hard. Those are hard shapes to pull off with the finger picking. So yeah, yeah, it's they tri- are. It's tricky. So the but, timing's tough too. The timing's difficult yeah. on it. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you one thing, I would love, if, if those guys ever go out again, I mean, whether Hagar is back or not, or Roth is there, I would love to see Eddie just at least do an instrumental on that song and rip out that little GL2T, you know. I don't think it'll happen, but it would be cool. It would definitely be cool. Well, he did He did have it reworked, so we don't know yeah. before. Well, I mean, that, yeah, it was like, what, three years ago, uh, Jeff Babbage did a whole remod on it, and Eddie was – saying uh something like you know people want to see this guitar i want to see me play it i don't know who knows maybe we'll get lucky one of these days but what about you any new guitars anything no. on the horizon gosh no uh, yeah <laughs> just just trust trying to focus on getting a 
like initial gig for this band and and yeah. uh hopefully you know shooting a lot of video of it so that we can make a press kit because uh, yeah i want to i just so want to have like a vegas residency you know like yeah. on the on the weekends and <laughs> just, yeah. just play these stupid songs and make some money and have fun that's awesome yeah. you know that's that would be the dream for now you know but uh well, <clears throat> we certainly got the talent for it man i'll tell you you're an incredible player i love watching Thank your you. videos it's pretty pretty impressive you know definitely impressive but um twenty thousand hours <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah did you ever get that uh uh that uh, effects uh, thing figured out that we were talking yes. about a few months ago. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it was basically just uh, it, until it worked, you know, keep yeah. flipping switches and <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, you know, input switches, output. Switch. It's a weird box. Yeah. It's a weird box yeah. for sure. Um, and then don't ask you to re reproduce it again. Don't touch any dial. If it's like me, it's like when I finally get what I want, whatever, I'm just like, you know, I have to take like a marker and, and yeah. make a little, you know, thing is, I, I can't remember how to hook it up again. No, and I, <laughs> have, a, I have a five-year-old, so all he loves to do is mess with switches. <laughs> turn know, knobs. Turn knobs and mess with switches. <laughs> so yeah. It's all locked away. Oh, here's a good one for you. So I wake up the other morning, like two days ago. <clears throat> I go downstairs, make a cup of coffee, uh, let the dog out, lock him. I go back upstairs, and I'm sitting in my guitar room just having my coffee, and I look down at my pedal board. You know, my pedal board with all my, my stuff on it and everything. And I see this pile of, like, it looked like a pile of crap in, like, the middle of the pedal board, like, <laughs> seeping down into the pedals and whatever. And I'm like, what the hell is that? And I go down and I look, the freaking cat threw up. On my oh. pedal board, <laughs> seriously, like and it got in, it got in my noise gate, it got in my uh, uh, an octave pedal, and it was like in between the crack. And I'm like, oh come on, it was it been there for like six hours. It was all dried, so I had to take <laughs> everything out. Oh, I was so. Oh. So and I love cat, I love animals. But... So the cat was used for target practice, or what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. I, no, I just uh, we had a we had a young uh, uh, we had a. Uh, uh, we had a little heart to heart. I'll just put it like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Did you brand? Oh, she said. Did you brand right over there. <laughs> Did you brandish? The thing is, out of all the places she could have gone in that room, on the floor, on the carpet, had to be in the middle of my effects board. Right. Like, come on. Hey, really? Just throw up in the back of the amp. <laughs> yeah, is, is she an outdoor cat? No, she's an indoor cat. So. Oh, you're lucky then, because my cat lives outdoors, and she threw up something earlier. You don't want to know. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Well, what, kind of, what kind of throw up do you want to know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> it, was, it was not good. I had to go out there and, and spray off the, the, the welcome mat, you know. By the way, I'm, I'm on my phone, so I can't read any chat from anybody. So let me know if anyone's adding me. Yeah, we haven't even looked at that for a while. We got to take a look at that. Yeah, uh, we got sixty-seven people sitting here. All right, and by the way, uh, with uh, Johnny's shirt, and if you're interested in uh, acquiring one, uh, please message me, and uh, I will uh, send one your way. Find me. Yeah, on, I definitely uh, want one. Find me on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. And uh, just get in touch with me, and we can work a little PayPal deal and give me your address and your size, yeah. and, and uh, I'll have one to you real shortly. So if you're interested, a little nerd Halen swag. Absolutely. And they For come sure. with a pick. So, uh, yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, thanks. I appreciate, I appreciate the, uh, the forum to try and <laughs> sling my gear. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Trying to pay. Jim Nichols money. says, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, definitely." Actually, you're gonna have any of those at Nam? You're gonna bring any of them? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll have my backpack. Will be stuffed. But <laughs> cool, awesome. I'll awesome. Because I'm gonna snag one for me. Sell three. You know, it'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> three T-shirts at three. all weekend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's in the bag? Oh, just black cloth. <laughs> Jim Nichols says, Rob, is that the same cat that tipped over your shark guitar? 
Yes, actually it is. And for those of you guys that remember that story, two years ago, it's a different shark guitar that I have now. It's, it's, it's the one I got now is Dave's. It's one of uh, Donnie uh, Ward's uh, monsters. And uh, so. Whoops. I uh -oh. tour oh. relic. How did that happen? Was that me? Caleb moves his phone and Rob freezes. No. You remember that? <laughs> huh? No, no you, you froze. We couldn't hear anything. Oh, okay. Well, Jim Nichols asked if that was the same cat that tipped over my shark guitar a couple of years ago. And that was. It was the, it was the cat that uh, knocked that over the, the shark guitar. That, is that the same cat that just unplugged your internet? <laughs> yeah. The headstock falls down and smashes on the side of my brand new USA Ivory EVH Wolfgang guitar. I had just had it like two days and it put a dent in the side of it. So <laughs> oh, no. I'm looking at it. I'm like, that time the cat went literally flying down the stairs, you know, because she knew I was pretty pissed. But uh, that is what actually prompted me to turn that into a tour relic guitar. So ah. kind of got to thank her for that. So. But wow. <laughs> yakking on my pedal board, not so much. Wow. It is what it is, you know. <laughs> so uh John, you guys on Friday, did you talk about the whole Roth stuff and did you guys get into that? On on Friday? Or last week? I don't even remember. When, Friday. Did, when did he Well I'm just curious. I mean, he basically admitted that they're a hundred days away. From something, yeah. So, yeah. I don't <clears throat> believe it or not. Oh, oh who's this? <laughs> How are you? You see that? You see that face? He's gonna, be, he's gonna be banging on his bowl here in a minute. He doesn't have water in there. <laughs> he was actually looking at the screen. That was weird. Yeah, he was. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, believe it or not, I never even read that. Wow. I don't even read all this stuff, you guys. Wow. So yeah. well, what? It's what? All, it, it. It appears to be. Well, I mean, we, we all knew it was coming. Yeah. I had a feeling. It's just taking them forever for some reason. So it looks like something's coming. Yeah, that's what and, I got. It, it, might, it might involve stadiums, especially Yankee Stadium. <laughs> that's a place oh. Rob loves to go. We know that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, actually, I, honestly, I love, I love New York. I really do. I really do. Not as much as L.A., but I like New York. <laughs> So you yeah, it'd be kind of cool. Are you, are you coming for sure? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm all set. I got my uh, plane ticket booked and uh, hotel and everything. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing all you guys. Should be a great time awesome. for sure. Yeah, are you, be fun. Are you in on Thursday? <clears throat> I am flying in Wednesday, okay, the good. 23rd, I think. Right, um, so you'll, be there, you'll be there for Thursday morning. Thursday morning is the yeah. best time to go because it's cool. like everyone's – Everything's pristine. Every every guitar that was there, planned to be there, is there. Yeah. You get to Saturday and Sunday, and a lot of stuff's moved and has everything's off been the molested. Floor. Yeah, everything's yeah, been molested. Stuff's been and, yeah, claimed and you know stuff like people they move stuff away because it gets bought for this or that. So yeah, yeah. to see everything like fresh on Thursday morning is the, is the best time, in my opinion, to go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to that aspect of it, but mostly I'm looking forward to, you know, seeing all you guys, hanging out with you yeah, guys, too, no, and having a good time. That we've, sure. we've said a dozen times that that's, that's the best part. Is, yeah, for you know, sure. Putting, you know, you're, you're, it's so weird to have relationships with all these guys, you know, on, <laughs> on, the, on the internet. Yeah. On the internet. You know, like, and, 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 these are people I've never like looked in the eye. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, you know, so it's just like the weirdest thing about just social media and stuff is that people know each other, but they've never yeah. met. And uh, yeah, so it's really cool to see people and you know. I mean, Johnny. I mean, you and I. We said this before. I mean, you and I have known each other for well over twenty years. And we've never met. You know. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, it's it amazing. is. Yeah. Like nineteen ninety six or seven, wow. ninety seven or ninety eight, I think. It's like crazy, you know. <laughs> On the uh, internet. No. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that doesn't sound good. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> you know. What is it? How many we got watching? <laughs> yeah, <I know>. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's awesome. All that's right. Awesome. Well, let me know, everybody. You want a nerd Halen shirt? <laughs> and if you're in L- if you're in LA tonight, uh, see you at the whiskey. I'll be on at ten oh eight sharp. Sweet. Rocking. Awesome. In my pajamas. You. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla's only down to selling two t-shirts now. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Ben Coombs right. says party at the Hilton on Friday night at Nam. Cool. I'm there. Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Excuse me. So so. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. That's awesome. So, Caleb, how far do you live from uh, the whiskey? Like, how far away, like, from your house? Like, walking distance or? How many? Yeah, how many? How many minutes? (laughs) Is that a five or a four? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes, Clayton, that is the one that Eddie used in the uh, two and a half men show. Yep, that's the guitar. That's the one. Yeah, pretty cool. I just saw that the other night for some reason. YouTube suggested it, and so I watched it. The whole episode, <clears throat> no, just the one part, just the that one part. It came up in my feed, someone, someone put it up or something. Mm-hmm. Best part is Eddie. Eddie walks out and he's like, oh, you might want to give it a minute. That's the yeah. best part. <laughs> oh, my God. That's awesome. uh, the question was, how far from the whiskey am I? I'm about, yeah. about eight miles. Oh, not bad. So it's West Hollywood. I'm in Santa Monica. It's not far. I mean, yeah. So That's cool. Know, at night, you know, when I drive there, it'll probably be like 22 minutes. Yeah. Now, what do you use for a live rig, um, for like an app and everything? What do you normally gig with? You like mean, at a place like a whiskey. For, well, uh, this this is a you know you just jump on and plug it, you plug in. So yeah, they have a, yeah. a rig there. I don't even know what it is. I really yeah. don't even know. Right. Uh, I think it's a Marshall cabinet, but it's some little like one of those little digital heads yeah. or something. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, you just you you take the cord from the guy before you, and 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 then you give the cord to the guy next, you know, after you. So yeah, sure. That's how it works. We, uh, there's a pedal board there. You can mess around. It's it's probably best to not mess with it because, uh, I mean, listening back to some of the things I've done there, like I probably would have rather not have a delay on at certain points, and you know. Yeah. Yeah. Just because the. Yeah, if you if for all you guys out there, if you have a delay on when you don't need it, everybody can tell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that you don't need it. Uh, so, and it shouldn't be there. But yeah, no, it's it's yeah. fun. It's uh, it's there's definitely nerve n- nerve wracking. There's a lot. Of, everyone's a pro, you know. I'm, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, you know, these are all working cats, you know, and I I, I sort of just broke in because I. You know, I don't know. I, I infiltrated it basically. Yeah. You know, uh, part. Oh, I'm sure you hold your own. I'm sure you with hold the your guitar own. leads thing and and other stuff. I just got to know everybody over the last you know year and a half basically. Yeah. And then finally, uh, I was able to crack crack the lineup. But um, no, it's 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 a really good group of people. Everyone's really nice and getting really good response. And you know. He keeps calling me. That's that's what's cool. Is like I, yeah. I I keep. It's exciting to get a message like you know that I, uh, if if I'm interested and you know do you want to play this week and what do you want to do and 
these are available and you know that kind of stuff so just the yeah. fact that i'm i'm in that scene you know when i was just a spectator you know six months ago four months ago even so yeah it's fun it's fun and it's building well, I mean, something sure sure for sure i mean well i mean you're technically obviously you know have have the talent and uh you got the right personality. So, I mean, that's, you know, all the hard work is you've done yourself. And I, I mean, I would just imagine, you know, just by hearing what you're saying, a lot of it is, you know, um, just being out there. I mean, you got to have the talent to be able to break in. You can't suck. And obviously you're an amazing player. So the fact that you, you put yourself in these arenas, eventually, if you're good enough, you're going to, you're yeah. going to get your opportunity. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's great. What I'm, what I'm realizing are like little simple things like you know when you have to learn two songs front to back that you've never played before in your life yeah. in less than 48 hours um i don't know if anybody i was going to ask my guitar playing friends my left hand is is giving me lots of problems and it's kind of scary um it just feels like it's it, it doesn't want it, it gets to a point it just doesn't want to do anything your left hand <laughs> My, really? my my yeah. neck hand, you know, like it just hmm. it, it starts to it gets dense. It feels like like I don't know if it's arthritic or whatever, but it's is it scary. a pain, Caleb, or is it no. just like like a numb? Like it just doesn't want to do anything. Yeah, like. it just feels like uh, <clears throat> it feels like I'm on I'm on the moon or something. It just feels hmm. sl slow, you know, like and yeah. it doesn't want to move. Like even the other one moves faster when I tell it to do something. So I don't know. It's a feel thing, but. Hmm. I definitely, uh, you know, you cram and you, you're, you're playing solos over and over again, you know, but I mean, I don't, I don't know if I play enough to that. Maybe my hand is reacting, you know, hello, yeah. that my hand is reacting to that. So I guess I got to play more just regularly, but yeah, a little nervous about that, you know? Hmm. Well, I mean, Ben Coombs just, uh, said it could be muscle fatigue, maybe, um, you know, no, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm sure yeah. it's something like that because yeah, definitely feeling it. You know, it's a it's it's a real issue. So, but we'll see. We'll see hmm. where it goes. What what what? The last time I played, I, I had it, and I actually developed a blister even on my my ring finger tip, and uh, it definitely affected me that night. You know, when I played, I I, mm -hmm. I, I could tell like my like ouch. You know, <laughs> like yeah yeah playing, yeah like ow. No. Yeah, you don't want yeah. to be like that. That's you're not gonna you're not gonna hit notes when it's when you have pain. So, yeah, yeah, sure. So. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> hopefully that uh, you know, hopefully that stays you know under control and, and it gets better. You know, for sure. Yeah, no, I I, I want to find out everybody's secret. You know, like if they have a like how to how to like working guitar players treat their hands, you know, and <clears throat> what kind of, well, you know, what kind of uh, therapy do they use for them? They get mm -hmm. massages, all that kind of stuff. I'm curious, like, you know, keep, well, one keep... thing I'll tell you is, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I've been playing guitar for, you know, over 20 years. I'm certainly not a, as good of a player as you are, but one thing I will tell you as far as exercises and stretching techniques is, uh, um, you know, from doing martial arts for almost 30 years is my, my hands, um, you know, they take a beating from joint manipulations and all this stuff. But I'll tell you right now, I mean, I, I was just playing guitar the other day for a couple of hours and I noticed my left hand started kind of like the time, all of a sudden I just, my fingers didn't want to do anything. Right. I, mean, I was moving my arm, but I'm, you know, I'm picking notes and then this, the, the hand is like, Bleh, you know, right. and one of the things that I, I've noticed is about maybe 15 years ago, I got frostbite on my, on my hands in, in the wintertime because it gets pretty cold here. And one of the things that actually helps me is, is, is stretching, really, really using, not necessarily cracking my knuckles, but actually f doing flexibility exercises with my fingers and actually really warming them up, um, getting the, you know, the fluids going and things like that. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that would help, you know, if you do any of that before your gigs or anything like that or whatever. Oh. Um, no, I remember, you know, I, hey, I remember seeing Eddie like during yeah, his solo. Was, Shaking yeah. his hands out, right? Shaking the hands, remember? Like you just took the like, word out of like words I, out of I my need, mouth. Yeah, I need the blood back in here. You know, like yeah, you could, you could tell like he needed blood in his hand, and he, it wasn't there. You know, 
It's funny you just said that because I was just going to mention that. I was watching an old bootleg from 88. I, I think it was uh, New Jersey or uh, Buffalo, New York, 1988. And Eddie was playing 5150. He had a Kramer 5150. And he's in the middle of the intro, you know, da, 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 da. he gets into the, like the second verse and he stops and he's going like this. And then he starts playing again and he totally messes the song up in the beginning. He actually wow. had to stop and he's shaking his hand. So something with his hand was bothering him pretty good. Well, from maybe spasm. I mean, you ever had like a hand spasm where, where it's like a crack? Yeah. And, yep. Uh, you know, it's not going to do anything you want it to do. So Right. I mean, that, that's 30 you know, years ago. So Drum solo. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, get out of here, you know, yeah. <laughs> make some noise, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But uh, that's cool. So, yeah, you're going live in a few hours, huh? Very nice. Yes. The hour approaches. I love that blue guitar you got behind you. That is cool, that Kramer. That is awesome. That is a cool yeah. guitar. That's actually a Tom Anderson body and neck. Yeah. That is so cool. I like that. I've seen you play in that before. Yeah. yeah, no, that's that's 33 years old right there. Damn, I like that. Not the I love the off, neck. But, yeah. Look at the neck, though. I love the wear on that neck. That is so cool. That's kid stuff. That, yeah, that's the kid stuff. That's a kid in his room. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's my third guitar ever. So. How many years you been playing now? That's my like first total. guitar ever. Very cool. You know, everyone said, like, I, like, do you have your first guitar? Oh, I sold my first guitar. I sold my first electric guitar, but I still have my first technical guitar, which is that yeah. acoustic. That's cool. So, what was the question? Sorry. Uh, how many years you been playing? Like total? Like when did you start? Oh my god. Uh, well, the story is I I saw well I I was into the Rolling Stones in 1981, and because uh, they did that huge tour, Tattoo You. Yeah, it was a stadium. It's, it's probably the pinnacle concert tour of all time. Yeah, I th in my opinion, because uh, they they played every stadium. They sold out every stadium. They played a twi a twilight show, so they started in in the evening and went into the night, and uh, and then they did a pay per view at the end of the tour, and we got this pay per view. It was like right before Christmas. And I, we taped it, we videotaped it. So I watched yeah. the Rolling Stones concert over and over again for, you know, forever. And then I, I was like, I knew I wanted to be in a rock band. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I saw The Who about eight or nine months later. Yeah. It, live, you know, I was 13 or something. And there were 95,000 people at the Coliseum. And I ditched school that day and and uh with two friends and and we saw this incredible concert it was the who and the clash and uh then i knew i wanted to play guitar yeah and uh and so i i got an acoustic and it was that one and then i started playing uh, getting lessons so this night night this fall of 1982 yeah and uh uh but i i lost interest like my parents were like you know go down and practice you know, and I was like, yeah. oh, okay, <laughs> you know, acoustic, acoustic, okay. And then I just put it away for a little bit. And then that was, you know, the end of 82. And then March 83 comes around and, you know, I go to that one day at a time taping and uh, the world changes forever. So that's how oh, yeah. it works. So yep. then I knew, I, then I knew I wanted an electric guitar immediately. <clears throat> and then literally for the next nine, you know, nine years, I'm playing six to eight hours a day. So, yeah, that's how that's how it all happened. I missed my entire high school teenager, dumb, you know, but, you know, I can play eruption. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Yeah. Hey, Jay. <clears throat> and Michael Smith. Hey. <clears throat> Jay, what's up? <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. That's yeah, funny for me because I, uh, <clears throat> I didn't start, I've been playing, let's see, I started playing in 96. So, uh, I don't know, 22 years, 22, something like that. 22, 23, 23. But I got a, the thing about me is I got a really late start because I mean, I, I didn't start playing guitar till I was like 23 years old, yeah, you know? That's, and, that's way late. 
Yeah, and, and the funny thing is, is I, I always wanted to play. I mean, I was always a big music fan. I mean, I, I, I always loved ACDC. And I mean, I used to listen did to everything wanna, as a little kid. Did you want to just play or did you want to shred? Because... <clears throat> well, see, here's I, the thing. I, I, mean, there's, I a, there's a difference, you know? Yeah, I, when I was like 1981, when I was like, uh, you know, eight or nine years old, you know, I remember my mom listening to Rod Stewart and I'm like, whoa, that's pretty cool. You know, I, I, I was into that kind of music. And then I remember in uh, like 83, 84, I started really, you know, my buddy brought over Diver Down in 1984. And I'm like, whoa, this is incredible, you know? Yeah. And, and then I was a guitar guy. Then it was, I wanted to, I wanted to do that stuff Eddie Van Halen was doing. But, but you know, but I you just- you waited I, 10 years. I waited 10 years because I, 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 that's right around the time when I started doing martial arts. And uh, I had a huge passion for that and, you know, that's all I did. I went to school and I trained and uh, um, just one of those things. And, you know, finally, when I met my ex-wife, you know, I, I saw Van Halen and I'd seen him before, but I saw him in the balance tour and I was just like, that's it. I, I'm playing it. I'm going to, I'm going to learn. And uh, my ex-wife got me this uh, little Fernandez copy strat and a little, little martial practice amp. And I took lessons for about a year with this incredible, uh, guy, the kid, you know, that was great guitarist. He could play pretty much anything. And um, he told, first thing he told me is like, if you want to learn Van Halen, you got to get yourself something with a Floyd Rose on it. And I'm like, all right. So I went out and bought my first Kramer, you know. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a couple years later, I'm, you know, starting to strike the guitars and, you know, doing all that crazy stuff. And yeah, so I mean, I got a late start on it, but for me, it's, I just have so much fun. I mean, it's just a good time. I enjoy it. Um, Passion. Obviously. Passion. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm a Van Halen fan, but what I do find, Caleb, and you'll, you guys will probably both appreciate this, is as I get older, um, of course, I love Van Halen, but my, my appreciation for music as a whole is so much more vast now. It's like I really appreciate all kinds of music. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I, it, it, it's interesting how your tastes change, you know? Yeah. But, so it's kind of cool. Um. I've been called to do stories. So Hey, that's more that, that's important. <laughs> we should probably be wrapping it up anyways, Johnny. Priorities. You guys, thanks a lot. Thanks for having me on, yeah. John. Good to talk to you, Rob. I'll yeah. see you. Hey, you next too, month, Caleb. For sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If we don't see you on the internet before that, but uh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Caleb, thank you for the shirt. Thank you so oh, yeah. much. No, John, thanks. Thanks for almost being responsible for the shirt. So <laughs> I appreciate it. Absolutely. Everybody, take care. Yeah. Have try a good find, gig tonight, buddy. Yeah, try to find the live stream of the Ultimate Jam Night at the Whiskey yeah. Gogo. Uh, sure. It's, it's, it's out there on the internet. Uh, oh. E East Coast, yeah. 108, 108 a.m. <laughs> 108 a.m.? 1008 on, the, on Pacific. So. All right, boys. Yeah, okay. have, a good, have a good gig, buddy. Have Thanks. a good gig. Right. Have fun. Thanks. All right, Merry Christmas, everybody, if I don't see you. All right. Merry Christmas, Caleb. Bye. Take care. <laughs> very cool very cool chris hubbard just uh -oh. sent me a text he wanted me to say everybody that uh, it's not me it's not me it's not no, me. i was kidding i was kidding i, was I know kidding. hubbard just sent me a message he wanted to uh i asked him earlier if he wanted to jump on but he said he's been wrapping christmas presents he's been listening but he wants to say hello to everybody and uh yeah so <laughs> but uh well hey yeah. chris chris if you're listening man um this is johnny <laughs> <laughs> no we miss you chris we miss you you got to jump jump in here again real soon man and awesome yeah. awesome uh guitar rob that's... yeah she's kind of fun pretty cool i like it definitely pretty cool that's very cool man a couple of the guys got a chance to see it last year at the uh, EVH con because Chris brought it last year when he had it. Oh, but, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a video of me last year playing it um, on Instagram because he brought it to my house and that's the first time I saw it. He showed, Hubbard shows up at my house with like 10 guitars and of course, you know, it's like total overload because I got uh, freaking 30 of them up there and he's here with 10. So we did know. a bunch of videos. Yeah, you're on yes, that trip did, yeah. or another trip. There's a, on the yeah. channel here. Go back a year, <laughs> and there's a bunch of videos with with Chris Hubbard and and Rob and yeah, yep. Yeah. 
<laughs> Chris actually said he's uh, maybe next time he's, he asked me, he said uh, maybe he can jump on. He's got a couple of guitars he'd like to show to Johnny. Like, uh, um, I'm sure you guys would love to see his purple Ernie Ball double neck replica. That is really awesome. Um, yeah. Um, so he's got some pretty cool, cool stuff, but. <laughs> And boy, this this low E string is man. This chugs. Man, it was. It, it chugs. It's really I low, thought, like you said. I said it chubs. <laughs> Gives me a chub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jay. I don't know if you saw it earlier, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool guitar. It's uh, it's pretty fun. I'm I wonder if anyone's ever said that before. Has anyone? Ever, is that Jay? Jay, is that a thing? Jay would know. Jay would know. Heavy guitar is that a term? Like, man, that's so heavy. This that chubs, you know, because it's heavy sounding. <laughs> it chubs is that a thing, Jay? <laughs> chubs. <laughs> that's funny. I'm chubbing the guitar, man. <laughs> Poor Jay. How would he know? <laughs> that's okay. Chubby. Chub. Chub. That is chub. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I know. No, I know. I'm just joking. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> All right. So are we actually, yeah, we can't say that we're good anymore because we, once you say you're leaving, everybody leaves. And it's a fact. <laughs> yeah, that's right, everybody. Yeah, Michael Michael Smith. You heard it here first as far as any kind of uh, heavy guitar chub, chubbing. Chubbing. <laughs> I come up with the dumbest stuff. Well, it's like unbagging. You and I are the ones that came up with unbagging. <laughs> Even uh, Caleb brought it up a few minutes ago. That was funny. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So, so you're good. You're good, right? Yeah, I think we're all set. Oh, you're good. Okay. All right. All right, everybody. We are out of here. I'm not gonna say goodbye because we're not we're not leaving just yet. Um, but Rob, awesome guitar. Are you available tomorrow? Maybe. <laughs> you, mean like, like, you mean for like dinner or something yeah for dinner yeah <laughs> um should be a text later actually yeah later. i am okay I am maybe, maybe we'll do a uh um maybe we'll do a little hangout tomorrow during the day i'm off tomorrow so mm -hmm. i'll do that one from my guitar room so you guys can see all the all the other stuff up there mm -hmm. so with all the with all the echoing and all the squeaking and <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the farting the farting chairs and yeah all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, all right. All right, everybody. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys uh, later. I guess maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe see you tomorrow. Uh, maybe we'll see. Uh, John BL, hey, good to see you. Thanks for thanks for everything. Press forty six. Uh, Bozik, Michael Smith, Ben Coombs, uh, seven over eight. That's Jay. Thrash metal and fun refs. Mad Dog. Uh, yes, everybody. See you guys later. It's great seeing you guys. See and you soon. Don't hang up. I want I want okay. I want to talk to you about something once we're once sure. we're done here. Something I don't want to yeah. say here. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. All right, everybody. Mr. C underscore 5150. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, everybody, if you're brand new. If you if you dig this stuff, leave a thumbs up. Links <clears> down <throat> below. All kinds of stuff. And subscribe to Rob's channel. You'll find it in the description. Yep. Right in there. So. Right. All right. <laughs> all right, everybody. <laughs> Jay, do you mean tomorrow or now? <laughs> oh. All right. All right. <laughs> what am I saying? Johnnybean.com. Check it out. Everybody, go over to johnnybean.com. I want to see my phone light up with with uh, visits to johnnybean.com. And leave a comment over there. All right, everybody. 51 thumbs ups and 50 viewers. Oh, we better stop. All right. 5150. All right. <laughs> bye. See you guys. Have a good day.